We have a 1979 Datsun. This old thing's been sitting for like 30 years. It hardly has any miles on it because, well, it was kind of wrecked back 30 years ago at least. It's fairly rough. We're missing, well, no, this window's here. We're missing that window and a few other things, but we're going to get her running. This ain't as old as we normally get running, but we'll be back with them here pretty soon. Just sometimes getting them running takes a month Sundays. The trunk's kind of seen better days, but... You know, she's a nice little car. It's low miles, so I'm sure she's worth probably 30 grand right now since cars are so expensive. I'm not sure how the door opens up here. I think it has, let's see, 13,000 miles on it or something like that. Might just be three though. It has 25,000 miles on it. But she ain't got too many miles on her. Underneath the. There we go. Underneath the hood, we got a little four cylinder, it looks like. Looks like at some point someone tried to maybe get it running. Or maybe they did this for a speaker or something. Not really sure. The cool wire's been chewed off. It's a mess underneath here. Where's the oil? There we go. She's got oil in her. Looks like she's full. Guess there's nothing to do but throw a battery on here. And we don't have the keys for this, and so we'll just jump the starter and see what she does. She's not locked up, so she'll run. Maybe. I figure she will. That should be the negative. We'll find out in a minute. I'm guessing something inside. It's just gonna keep beeping. I don't know how to turn it off. That is not the starter. Okay. The key inside don't work, but oh, we have crankage. That's a good sign. At least the starter works. Now we just gotta get fired everything. Now that we have crankage and everything like that. No rat nest in there. What is that? I don't know what that is. I've never seen one. Someone on here I'm sure knows what that is, so let me know. It's got two little deals on it. It says Nissan there, Japan. Maybe it's something for fuel mileage or pollution. Carburetor looks clean. There's no rat nest in there. Or even there. They've left this car alone, I guess. It would be a nice little car except for it's wrecked and there's no floorboards left. Oh, that goes to the starter. That's the... Oh, I better hook the battery up. This might be a... Well, it's already hot wired. I think this was going through here. If you see that yellow wire right there, someone put a different key switch in it right here. So I think that same yellow wire went to this. At least that's what I assume. I wondered what it was. We're just gonna try to get this running without cleaning the points for right now.
there's that one. Should be able to hook the cool up like that. These little Dotsons are almost invincible, so we're just gonna spray some gas Got down. Got a little sauce bottle here. These don't dissolve in gas for some reason. I figured they would when I first got them, but they weren't pretty good. Just gonna put some in there and crank her over. Come on. A little bit more. Maybe she's thirsty. We're gonna go ahead and clean the points. I was hoping she'd run without doing that. So I don't know what's going on. It just kind of spontaneously combusted in here. There was a smoke just a rolling and the battery cable, if you can see, just kind of turned to liquid. I mean, it's nine million degrees here and it tried to melt down. So we gotta work that out. Not sure what's going on. We're gonna cut that wire though. Either the cool's not working or the points are bad. Oh, these are the ones you gotta take the whole thing apart to. Wait a minute. Is this a points ignition? It might not be. So we got that cool hooked up. It's basically hooked up, right? We still have the problem with it won't quit beeping because the door thing's broke, but this wire here is a little short. We're gonna try to strip that off of there and hook it up. And I do believe this is an HEI distributor. I'm used to messing with stuff that has points in them, but this one's a little newer than what we normally do. go maybe not there we go she run A fuel pump and everything hooked up so she should run fairly good maybe This deal right here broke off and we have a huge vacuum leak. This is all just held on by wires that, that people have wrapped around there. And right here is our giant vacuum leak. We're just gonna shove a stick in there and that should fix our vacuum problem and it won't rev to seven billion RPM. Might just do this. Now I think we got it fixed. I guess we're just gonna throw her in re reverse and start her up and see if she even moves. We can, I don't know where I did with my gas. Need to refill here. There 
There we go. She tries to run off in reverse. We know the transmission works. I'm not too sure it's gonna work because it was completely out of flood and I filled it up when we first started messing with the old car. Come on. move is because the drive shaft's bent against the floor of the car and that's why it just barely moved so i don't think putting air in the tires will do any good if you guys can uh you guys can't see probably but underneath there it's bent right up against the floor right in there right about the towards the end of the door middle of the door handle so that's why she won't move but i gotta say she runs really good we might do something with that motor i'm not really sure we got a million projects but it runs almost too good to throw away even though the car's a little rough guess could cut the roof off it make a convertible thing i guess i got give you guys some updates on the other projects we got going on and then that'll give probably be an it. update since it's been a while since we made a video we still got the old model a it's running real good still and the truck everyone asked about the old 28 gmc i still have it it's right here we are working on it as you can see got some of the wood worked out for the cab and no, I'm not using the correct wood. This is two befores and stuff because no one makes a wood kit for it. And it was cheaper to buy this because buying wood and having it milled and everything would be extremely expensive. But we're going to get the cap back on it. And where it's not falling apart, we're going to leave it rusty like this for now until we have the time and money to restore it. We may or may not restore it. I'm not sure yet. I really like the old truck, though. It's pretty neat. Ford also, frame, as you can see, it's almost put together rear ends in it uh the what's holding this up is they sent us the wrong rings they should be here in like three or four days so we can get this video done all we got to do is build the flathead put it in there and then we'll basically have a rolling chassis with the motor in it and we get on to paint the cab and you guys will be seeing the video on this soon i've said that a few times but for some reason it seems like you get sent the wrong parts then it takes a month of sundays to get the right parts but as you can see we got everything but the rings for that old motor carburetors heads everything to make it a nice little flat head and we've already got a pretty good watching. start hopefully you like this video it ain't as old as the stuff we normally get running but we got some more of that coming to the channel it just takes a long time to get that stuff running and well we hadn't made a video so i figured you guys would like this and thanks again for watching 